Good day, boat Larson boat owners. I'm going to show you again uh, today, same as my video from last year, but we're going to do the gear oil change on the lower end unit. It's not that messy and it's not that hard to do. So uh, we're going to go step by step and show you how easy it is to do it yourself. Okay. All right. You're going to need a couple of things here. Uh, first off, obviously, is your marine lower unit pump. This one I bought from Canadian Tire last year. It's not that expensive and as long as you remember where you put it from last year, you keep reusing it every year to do your own oil changes there. Uh, the other thing you'll need is your gear lube. Uh, I buy the Mercury brand just so I know I'm putting Mercury approved oil in my lower unit. One thing to note when you look at these bottles is you got to make sure, depending on what your horsepower is for your engine, you want to buy the right gear loop. So this one, as you see on the label just below the big print, it's rated for engines 75 horsepower and higher. Okay, so just check the fine print before you walk out of the store with that one. And over here, I've already taken out the screws on the upper and lower part of the unit and drain the oil into the pan there. So now we're going to hook up the pump and start refilling it with new oil. Okay, hold on. All right, now with this pump set up, they give you two sizes of adapters depending on the threads on your lower unit. I picked the one that threads in properly and then they also give you two lengths of tubing to go into your bottle. I picked the one that will go down as far as it can on this particular bottle and you just thread it on. Till just like the cap that you took off. And then all you simply have to do is start pumping this. There it goes. And that's it. You just keep pump you just keep pumping until it fills and you also make sure you make the uh, line on your pump secure after pumping about a bottle and three quarters you should see it start coming out of the top and that's your point to stop and start putting your new washers on your bolts I still have to remove that washer out of there bottom ones out and for three bucks, it's worth putting uh, new washers in for peace of mind. All right, and once you get your washer put back on the bolt, put the top one in first to create a little bit of a vacuum. So when you take the bottom area out and put the bolt back in, you don't get all your oil spewing out all at once there. So that's it for the lower end. You've got new oil and you've got new washers for the next season. Now we'll go to one last step in the engine area and that will be it. Now the last step is in your engine area on this particular Merc drive. It's on the right hand side when you're facing it. This is the drive lube monitor bottle. So here, it's kind of like your, uh, on your rad here, kind of, you can keep tabs of, if for any reason you're losing uh, oil during the season. This is obviously down because I have drained it. So you just take some of your oil that you have left over. And you can see here, hopefully, it's got a fill level. So we're going to top it up to where it's saying it needs to be in the uh, operating range. Okay. 
Okay, now we've added our gear lube oil to the operating bottle here and we filled it up to the operating range. So in the spring when we're running it, we'll just check this to be sure that uh, it's still in the operating range in case uh, it draws a little bit more down into the area that we filled. Okay, so this is it for how to change your gear lube oil. I hope you enjoyed this video of this Larson LSX LSR 2000 with its 4.3 liter mercury. And if you like the video, like it on YouTube or uh, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks guys and enjoy your winter.